get to showing you this new kayak. Pretty cool. I'm gonna work down here in the barn. It's a beautiful day, so I might as well do it. So this is my Subaru Outback Wilderness, and it's, um, you can see I've got the Thule bars on top of the car, simply for my uh, canoe, right? Well, here's what's awesome. This is just amazing. The kayak fits inside the car. I mean, how cool is that? That's amazing, because you know why? If I'm going for a day trip, I just throw the kayak in the car. I don't have to worry about tying anything down up top. Secondly, if my son and I, when we go for uh, uh, trips, we can leave the kayak in the car and the canoe on the roof. We are golden, man. So I've never paddled this thing. Let's get it out of the car and check it out. But uh, I'm going to sort of put some bunch of accessories on it. And another thing I want to do is I want to put a stern and bow protector on it, just like I have on the canoe. Okay, let's get it, take it out and uh, get her on her stand and see what's going on. I'm excited about this thing. This thing's cool. One thing I am going to do is put some handles on it. Here's what's cool. This boat cost me roughly, uh, well, it was $600 pre-tax. It's a Pelican Argo 100 XR, bought from Canadian Tire. Um, you can see the logo on it is kind of messed up from the way they stored it. There's a couple scratches on the hull, no big deal. This boat is 10 feet long. It's got a cargo hatch in the back with a totally waterproof, uh, it's a waterproof hatch. I'll show you that in a second, but here's what sold me on the boat. The seat, right here. It's a totally adjustable seat for your, for your back, and it's comfy as all get out. And the other thing too is, it's totally removable. You just slide the seat forward, it comes out, you put it on the ground, and you can use it as a camp chair. Fantastic. The newer Pelicans like this one here come with a cup holder, like a bottle holder there. You've got a bottle holder here at the front, bungee cords to hold down a pack. You know, I put a waterproof pack there. You've got some Scotty mounts here, which this is today's job. I'm gonna be adding some features to this boat to help out with uh, uh, just load out and stuff. This is very important because your knees, when you're paddling, your knees are gonna hit this sidewall and uh, these will protect your your thighs and stuff from getting burns on them it's got a totally uh, your 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 foot rests i don't know if you can see them your foot rests are adjustable for your size i go a buck 80 so um and i'm about five foot just over five foot ten so this boat fits me just absolutely perfect it's got a load rating of 300 pounds please be careful on how you load out your boat okay take your weight and all your luggage luggage all your packing stuff make sure you take that into account all right i'll be doing that today oh here's the uh, back hatch uh, there's lots of videos online about this, so it's got this the waterproof, you know, it's totally waterproof back here. I'd still be putting stuff in waterproof bags anyway, just in case, but regardless, having a hatch like that is fantastic. That's another feature that sold me on this, this uh, unit. It's got uh, grab handle, carry handles at the front and back. I am going to be putting carrying handles on the sides. Uh, that will just it just makes it easier that's all like i said the decals will in all likelihood come off but that's it that is the kayak nice see there's a nice little scrape there on it yeah nothing i can do about that this material is really tough all right the um the hull is made out of uh polyethylene and another there's some other junk they mix in with it doesn't matter the point is it's fairly tough but it's not tough enough to handle the rocks where i live no chance you should see the bottom of my canoe. So what I'm going to do is I'll be putting rub strips on here. Like on the, uh, on the bow and on the stern. These hulls on these pelicans are very stable. I have paddled one and uh, it's what drew me to this. 
So these hulls are incredibly stable, uh, very forgiving hulls. Not fast, they're not fast at all, but um, that's okay. They're for basically for small lakes, ponds, small little streams, not for white water at all. Waves, well, we'll give it a shot and see how she goes. Okay, let's get her going. I'm gonna start drilling into it. Joy. Here, Jim. Here, buddy. Here you go. Oh, boy. What are you nervous about, dude? Here you go. I gotta get to work. As I mentioned before, the seat is what sold me on this boat. So the seat, it doesn't really have a, have under seat storage unless you want to put maps or whatever you want under here, something small, uh, simply because when you're, when you sit on the seat, it's going to compress and you, I don't know, we'll see how that works out, but whatever, you can lean the seat forward and you can put stuff under it if you wish, but here's what's cool about the seat, right? You just push it forward and the seat comes right out. comes right out beautiful oh there you go that's the uh, chair out of the kayak perfect for camp man it's perfect you don't have to carry another chair with you that's it how awesome what a great idea I picked up a couple carry handles for these uh, for this thing because it's a little bit awkward carrying it like this I figure if I have a handle on it I can just flip it so the important thing is when you're putting handles on you're going to want to make sure it's balanced. So if you're not picking it up in the front, you know what I mean? Um, how to balance this. I'll use my stands here. And I'll find the balance and then mark it. Yep, that'll work. Oh yeah, I think I found the balance. That's cool. So a handle will go here, and the handle will go right where the other, the other strap is. Beauties. Now that's that's the balance with the um, with the seat in. Will I be carrying it with the seat in? In all likelihood. But let's check the balance with the seat out. It's going to change it. It's going to change it, guaranteed. Let's see. Oh yeah, huge, huge. Well, not that big. Didn't change it by much. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually put, gonna put the handles on where it's balanced like this without the seat. Okay, since that's the balance point here, I'm just gonna put a wee dot right there. That's more than enough. I'll do the same for the other side. The easiest way to put a handle on is use this ridge here. Well, on the Pelicans anyway. Use this ridge here as your guide. So what that means is that what you're going to do, you're going to take your strap. <laughs> chippies. They're everywhere. Uh, you're going to take your strap and you're sort of going to use that as a guide, okay? Just so you get it relatively straight. Don't put your st strap tight like this. Just don't do it. Push your strap, put you push your holders together so that you got some room for your hands, okay? All right, I'm gonna do my first hole. Chip here. One thing I like to use when I'm uh, working on any, any boat is this stuff called Amazing Goop. This stuff's great. It's an adhesive and it's it's totally waterproof. It's made for marine purposes. This one's obviously the marine one. So let's get her up, get her ready to rock and roll. It is. Great. First hole in the boat. Isn't that awesome? Man, it's loud out here today. This uh, marine glue, by the way, this goop, it's really uh, thick, okay? So you don't need a lot. I'm using a hand screwdriver on this because you do not want to over tighten this because these are screws, okay? Really and truly, I think it'd be best if you used bolts. But uh, we'll see how this works out. Okay, first handle's in. Good. 
Okay, I got both handles on, both the left and the right side, port starboard, and the um, that'll aid in carrying this this kayak really good. Uh, you'll notice that box in the front. I'll explain that in a minute. Now, this boat is really a recreational kayak. It's made for day tripping, uh, and it'll be fantastic at that. But I'm going to push the envelope on it. I was at Costco recently, and uh, they were selling this. It's a coho pack and carry box, it's called, right? It's relatively heavy. It's about 11 pounds. It's got a lockable lid, which is cool. And these uh, push deals here, right? Uh, when you open it up, it'll probably fall right off the kayak for all I know. It might. So anyway, so when you open it up, it's got some pouches here where you can throw electronic gear, whatever it is. By the way, this is waterproof. Hmm, cool. It's got two trays and a fairly deep box. Now, what if, what if I could use, utilize this on the kayak, right? What if I could put it back here on the kayak and use it for food storage? You know what? I could hang that from a tree. No problem. By the handle it's got. I could use it. I could hang it from a tree. It takes the place of a barrel, which I am very fond of using. But um, yeah, I'm going to give it a shot. I'm going to see what I can do. I have to make whatever I do. I have to make this back area accessible and it has to be multifunctional because I'm not always going to have that box on here. So um, away we go. MacGyver time. Yeah, this will be cool. If I can create, if I can make this watercraft into like a weekend watercraft, that'd be freaking, that'd be fantastic. It'd be great. Okay, here we go. One thing about kayaks is, remember this, whenever you're loading a kayak, unlike a canoe, everything in a canoe sits inside the canoe at water level, below water level, whatever. The point being is, in a kayak, this is going to be above water level, even though my butt's going to be in here. Anything above can cause it to uh, be a little tippier, okay? I'm willing to chance this. Yep, okay, I'm gonna work on a rig right now and figure out how to do this. I noticed these two marks on the, uh, on the kayak. These are made at the manufacturer. I'm gonna actually use these indentations. That's where I'm gonna put my anchor points. Wherever they line, this is gonna be square. Why fool around with it, right? I'm going to drill it out and see where it goes. I got this uh, bungee set off of Amazon and it came with these D-rings. Uh, I like these D-rings. Um, they're better than hooks just because I can do multiple things with them, such as putting a strap through it. I'm hoping this works, man. Jeez. <laughs> yeah, you never know. Okay, the two rings are in. And they're sturdy. By the way, if you get any glue on your on your craft, use a bit of Purell and a rag, right? That'll take it most most mostly take it off. There we go. Beauty. So the rings, see that? I could actually hang this boat by that. I would never do it, but uh, okay. Step two. So I can use bungee cords on this with hooks if I wanted to. I can also use a strap. Now this strap. I've had for ages. I used to use it for camping and I can't even remember when. Now one thing cool about this box that I noticed is it's got a strap loop. Look at that. Beauties. So there's a heavy duty strap but that's okay. Yeah look at that. That's a thing of beauty. That's not going anywhere. That's great. That's fantastic. I have to adjust it. I just pulled down the nut. Up I go. Yeah, that's beauties, man. That's not going anywhere. Nope. Way better than bungee cord. Way better. Okay, now I don't need much more strap than that. Done. Okay, cool. Okay, as you can see, I've got the strap through there. I've got a D-ring on that side and a D on this side and a D-ring on that side. It doesn't affect the hatch at all. I can store food in this, whatever I wish, um, tools, whatever I might need. And that's a huge component for, for uh, camping. 
And the other thing too is it's not going anywhere. I mean, there's no way it's going anywhere. Now, mind you, I have to test it on the water and see how she works out. And there's, uh, okay, that's a major modification right there. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna modify the front a bit and put some more bungee cord there just in case I wanna put a bigger bag. Unlikely, but you never know. Like maybe I wanna put a, a tarp there or something. Okay, here we go. Okay, for the front. I'm gonna use D-rings again to here because I can use straps, um, I can use bungee cord, I can use clips, I can use whatever I wish. So that's gonna be the layout. I'll drill the four holes, uh, get them sealed up. Yeah, this thing's starting to be fun. This thing's starting to look like a real touring craft. That's great, man. It's gonna be great. Okay, here we go. Okay, so this is what I've done so far. I've got the two D-rings back here, one, two. I can use a bungee cord. I can use my strap for my box, whatever I wish to do. Seats in, nothing's changed in here other than the handles, two handles. And then up front, this is what I've done up front. So I just added these D-rings, four D-rings, and uh, this bungee cord for now. And I put a trucker's hitch on this so I can adjust the bungee cord whenever I want. I'm not wasting bungee cord. If I wish, I could put a bag up here, a larger bag, and uh, I think I'm good. I'm pretty sure I'm good. So what I'll have to do is I'll have to paddle this thing. I've never paddled it yet. <laughs> so I'll have to load it up with the box in the back and paddle it and see how she goes. The next job, I have to put a, um, um, a keel protector on it. That's what I'm gonna do right now. This material will wear down on the keel area and on the nose, and, uh, on the bow and the stern. So I bought this stuff called Fiber Patch. Now there's another one out there called Gator Patch and it's, Gator Patch is probably much better than this stuff, but I couldn't afford the other stuff, so I'm going with this. Uh, it, it, it cures in UV, right? So it's, uh, you put it on and then you just put it out in the sunlight and let it cure. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a patch right across the keel here at uh, the stern here the keel at the stern and then I'll put another patch here right here you can see where it's rubbing already I haven't even used it yet so this is where I definitely have to put a patch okay so this is 9 by 12 9 by 12 I'll cut it in 3 inch 3 6 9 yeah I'll cut it in 3 inch pieces that'll give me 3 inch overlap First things first, you got to rub it down with isopropyl alcohol. It cleans off any grease and junk. Sand her down a wee bit just to smooth it out. And we're good. Here we go. You can really see where this rubbed already. Wow. Sheesh. You don't have too long to play with this stuff, so you gotta kind of hurry, because once it sees light, man, it starts to cure up, right? Just trying to get these edges down nice and smooth. That's pretty damn freaking good, man. Okay. Well, that's really bright, but you can see I've put the that guard on the on this bow. Another one on the stern. So, we'll see how it stays. Hopefully it's all good. That'll protect my keel. Okay, while well, I'm late waiting for the glue to set up and everything from all the stuff that I did, the uh, let's get these Scotty mounts in. So these are called Scotty mounts here. Um, I'm gonna actually put a couple on my, my canoe. And the reason being is because then I can transfer everything from here. So I'm a lefty. So what I'm going to do, this piece here just simply slides in. This is called the gear head, oh God, the gear head track adapter. So that just slides in and you, uh, you do something. There it is. You just turn it to tighten it, right? Done. Beauties. There's a little dimple here. I'm gonna use that to mount 
a cup holder. Yep. Even though this is a cup holder, I'm going to put my phone here. In the cup. Yeah, that's how it's going to work. Because this side on the Scotty mount, I'm going to use for something else, for sure. So let's just mark this up. Okay, the first hole is here. 